Stars, Jonathan Honig. Uh, we've got uh, Ehrman uh, Man. We got Tara Dowdell and Lizzie McDonald. Um, Yuri Man, I'm, I'm curious. What, what are we to make of, of leaders of the world, let alone our commander in chief? You know, watching the TV, getting briefed by Tim Geithner, looking at what's going on, you know, in, in Greece, I, and the markets kind know, of temporarily yeah. melting. What, what, you know, what? You know, Neil, uh, good evening. I think what's important to notice here is that a day like today really marks the fact that we are in a very anxious environment, a lot of tension. And I think deep down, the traders and people watching Wall Street, including the current administration, they realize that the bull market is over. And what, that, what do does that really mean? Think I mean, so? I remember, I, I do, I think so. I, I think this sort of event, this sort of event and the eventual potential cooling uh, of economic growth because of a freeze in the credit markets is a real issue and it could definitely affect us. Um, and, you know, I, I remember back in 1998, um, I was just three years out of college working on Wall Street, living in London, and I remember we were underwriting debt and all of a sudden uh, in 1998, uh, Russia decided to, to de devalue their currency. All of a sudden, all underwriting of corporate debt stopped and credit really uh, took, a, took a hit. So if that happens, the, the state of our economy today is so fragile that even just um, uh, the wrong push of a button by a trader can set off this sort of emergency sort of, sort of actions by traders. Everyone starts to sell because people are really nervous. And well, that, that's scary. Um, n not the, 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 the terror that could ensue, but the fact that you were three years out of college back then. But um, <laughs> Lizzie, I, I'm just wondering, you know, we, 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 we talk about these events, but you know, history does prove, technical or silly or otherwise, they are usually